The Tony Awards are this weekend, and we're going to be going through some of the list of musicals that got nominated in multiple categories, especially for Best Musical. Let's Cheekly chat about it. Cheekly? Welcome to Cheekly Chat, it's your boy Cheekly, and in today's video, we're going to be going through the list of every musical that has been nominated for this weekend's 77th Annual Tony Awards. That is right. There are 17 out of 21 shows that got nominated for the Tonys for musicals. Now, there are plays, but you know me. I love musicals, so we have to break down musicals. If you guys have a preference of which musical that you want to see win for a Tony, especially for Best Musical, then let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, hit the like button and subscribe. And be sure to hit the notification bell so you can be notified when another Cheek Late Chat episode is up and out. And there's so much that I'm going to be talking about some general award categories. And I had to kind of cheat because I... The list is just so long. So first of all, let's go through the list of musicals that have been nominated for the Tonys. First of all, Hell's Kitchen with the most nominations with 13 nominations. Then we have The Outsiders with 12 Tony nominations. The Revival of Cabaret, which is Cabaret at the Kit Kat Club, has nine. We're making this the most nominated revival for this year. Then we have seven Tonys for Merrily We Roll Along the Revival with Jonathan Groff, Daniel Radcliffe, and Lindsay Mendez and Water for Elephants. We have Suffs with six nominations. I'm assuming this is a musical about women's suffrage. Then we have two musicals nominated for four Tonys, which are Here Lies Love and Illinois. Then we have three musicals with three nominations. We have Days of Wine and Roses, Lempinka, and The Notebook Musical. Back to the Future has two Tony nominations with Best Scenic Design and Best Feature Actor in the Musical, which is Roger Bart, who plays Doc. Brown. And then, of course, we have four musicals that have been nominated for one Tony, and they are The Great Gatsby Musical, Gutenberg, Monty Python's Revival, and The Who's Tommy Revival. And then there are five shows that did not get a Tony nomination. They were The Wiz, Once Upon a One More Time, Harmony, The Heart of Rock and Roll, and How to Dance in Ohio. Let's go ahead and break down which musical has been nominated for which category. We're gonna talk about best choreography because I love to dance and I love dancing in general. We gotta give a shout out to the dancers in the ensembles and troops in general and to the choreographers. So for best choreography, we have Annie B. Parson for Here Lies Love. We have Camille A. Brown for Hell's Kitchen, Rick and Jeff Cooperman from The Outsiders, Justin Peck for Illinois, and Jess Rob and Shauna Carroll for Water for Elephants. The second category we're going to talk about is best book in a musical. So the first one is Hell's Kitchen by Christopher Diaz. Then we have The Notebook by Becca Burnsletter. The Outsiders with Adam Rapp and Justin Levine. You also have Suffs written by Shauna Tobb and Water for Elephants by Rick Elise. Then we have best score and this is going to include some musicals and one play. The first one I want to talk about is Stereophonic. Stereophonic is a play, but it holds the records of the most nominated play in Broadway history simply because it's been nominated for Best Score. And that has been written by Will Butler. We also have Adam Gretel for Days of Wine and Roses. We also have David Brin and Fatboy Slim for Here Lies Love. And then we have Jamestown Revival for The Outsiders and Shina Tobb for Suffs. And then we have Best Leading Actor in a Musical. There are five nominations. You have Brody Grant for The Outsiders. You have Jonathan Groff for Merrily We Roll Along. We have Dorian Harewood for The Notebook. Brian D'Arcy James for Days of Wine and Roses. And finally, Eddie Redmayne for Cabaret. Now for Best Leading Actress in a Musical. We have Eden Espinosa for Limpinka. We have Malia Joy Moon for Hell's Kitchen. Kelly O'Hara for Days of Wine and Roses. Marianne Plunkett for The Notebook. And finally, Gail Rankin for Cabaret. I also just realized I didn't write down the nominations for Best Featured Actor and Best Featured Actress. So I'm just going to list them out real quick. So for Best Actor in a Feature Role, we have Roger Barr for Back to the Future, like we mentioned earlier. We also have Joshua Boone for The Outsiders, Brandon Victor Dixon for Hell's Kitchen, Sky Lakota Lynch for The Outsiders, Daniel Radcliffe for Merrily We Roll Along, and finally Steven Skybell for Cabaret at the Kit Kat Club. Then we have the Best Performance by an Actor 
actress in a feature role, and that is Shoshana Bean for Hell's Kitchen, Amber Eamon for Olympinka, Nikki M. James for Suffs. We have Leslie Rodriguez creator for Mighty Python's Spamalot, and Keisha Lewis for Hell's Kitchen, Lindsay Mendez for Merrily We Roll Along, Baby Newrith, 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 uh, anyway, that's for Cabaret. So those are the nominees for the actors, both leading and featured. And now it's time to talk about best musical revivals. Now there were five and four of them were nominated. The Wiz was not considered nominated, but the list of musicals that have been nominated for best musical revival are Cabaret at the Kit Kat Club. We have Gutenberg the Musical, which is Literally the only nomination that it has. Same with the Who's Tommy, only nomination. And then finally we have Merrily We Roll Along. So Cabaret and Merrily We Roll Along are pretty much going to be nominated for like Best Musical Revival. And I'd be shocked if it was Gutenberg or the Who's Tommy based on how many Tonys they are. I hope it's Merrily We Roll Along because the original didn't get any justice. Not that I really studied much about that musical. I know it was written by Stephen Sondheim. So that's why I'm really rooting for it. I feel like Cabaret has been revived multiple times. So you guys let me know in the comments below which musical revival would you want to see win the Tony for best musical revival. And now for the best musical. All right, so we have five musicals that are nominated for the Tony for best musical. And they are Hell's Kitchen, Illinois, The Outsiders, Suffs, and Water for Elephants. Now, here's the thing. I heard a lot of positive things about The Outsiders and a lot of great things of Water for Elephants. I think those are great contenders. I'm going to low-key root for Water for Elephants. Not just because I noticed that there's some circus acts and stuff, but I personally know somebody that works with the Scenic Design Party that did some video effects for the Broadway show and it's a close family friend of mine and I hope that not only that her team gets the nomination for Best Scenic Design but I hope they can win Best Musical for this one. You never know with Hell's Kitchen. I don't know much about that one but it did get the most Tony nominations so I think the top three possibilities are going to be Water for Elephants, The Outsiders, and Hell's Kitchen but I would really love for Water for Elephants to take the win for the Tony. But I haven't seen a lot of these shows. I only saw a couple which are Here Lies Love and Back to the Future. Here's the thing, there's a lot of shows that were on Broadway this year. And I'm gonna be very honest, despite the fact that some shows are really good and that there's some are running long, I think this has been a pretty bad year because not a lot of musicals have been nominated Furthermore, there has been a majority of these musicals and other shows in place that didn't run long on Broadway, which is really insane to me. Like, how did Dance in Ohio had some groundbreaking history with like featuring people with autism on stage for portraying autistic actors and um, characters? So that's insane to me. I mean, there's some other shows that like are starting to close, like on July 7th, Merrily We Roll Along is going to close. These shows are just closing. Like, it's just insane. But I'm not going to stress that out. You guys let me know in the comments below if you're gonna watch the Tonys this weekend, which by the way, it's on Sunday, June 16th at 8 p.m. and it's gonna be on CBS. Plus, if you guys have Hulu Plus Live TV and YouTube TV, I think they're offering free live service streams. I could be wrong about that but definitely tune in to CBS to watch the Tonys. I think I'm going to watch the Tonys, and um, yeah, I'm going to root for Water for Elephants just because I have a family friend that is part of the scenic design team. Anyway, that's all the time we have. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Bye!